Ja, okay, Kevin så jag finally found the most stable miner at the moment with NB miner version 39.6. Uh, this one gives me a stable hash rate at uh, 46 plus megahertz per second when mining with the algorithm ETash. Okay. So in this tutorial we're gonna set up the MB miner. We're gonna add my overclocking settings for my 3060 Ti LHR card with the Samsung memory, but I will also give some recommendations for the Hynix memory. So let's go and set up uh, NB miner and see how much we can get. Okay everyone, so NB miner has uh, released a new version, so 39.6. And this has uh, optimized ETash LHR mode with a significant improvement, all right? So we get higher hash rate, more stable LHR unlocking for both uh, LHR mode 1 and 2, okay? You can also read more about it right here. So we're gonna test out this uh, NB miner uh, version 39.6 on my 3060 Ti LHR card, okay? And see how much uh, megahertz we can get. So just uh, open up a uh, Google browser and just uh, search for GitHub NB miner, okay? Okay, and click on this one, releases. And just go down and download this for uh, windows.zip because in this tutorial we're gonna use windows we're gonna open up this in folder we're gonna right click and we're gonna unpack this with uh, 7-zip if you don't have 7-zip just google it and download it and install it after that just click on extract to nb miner all right so now we can just uh, drag this to your desktop, like so. We're gonna open up the folder, and we're gonna go down to start underscore eth. We're gonna right click, we're gonna click on edit. All right, so all we have to do now is just to change your wallet address. Just delete this one and paste your own wallet address. If you don't have one, you find the link in the description for Binance. A disclaimer, this one is an affiliate link. That means I will get a small commission if you sign up through my link, okay? After that, we are going to delete default. This will be your working name. So in my case, I'm gonna name this to Sun. After that, we're gonna use ethermine.org as our uh, pool. So just copy ethermine.org, just open up a browser and just paste it right here. We're gonna go to start mining and choose your uh, server. You're gonna choose the one that are the closest to you. So in my case it's Europe. And I'm also gonna use this number, 4444. If you're in Asia, you can use this number. We're gonna go back to the file. We're gonna delete this uh, server address and paste my own. So Europe address. I'm gonna delete the one. I'm gonna use 4444. You can test this out. Otherwise, you can try one of these, okay? So all we have to do now is just to click on X. We're gonna save this one, all right? So now we can just double click on this uh, bat file and this will start up the miner. And you will also get this message from Windows Defender when you start your miner. You can just click on allow access. We're also going to use MSI Afterburner. If you don't have it, you can just open up a browser. You can just uh, Google MSI off the burner go right here and click right here and just download this one okay and after that when you have downloaded and install MSI off the burner just click on this one MSI off the burner and this will open up uh, MSI off the burner and now you can just click on this arrow and locate your 3060 Ti LHR card or any other card of your choice 
And disclaimer, you overclock your GPU at your own risk. I'm just going to show you my overclocking settings for my RTX 3060 Ti LHR card with the Samsung memory. Okay, so my core clock, I'm going to add minus 502. And also for memory clock, if you have a Hynix memory for your RTX 3060 Ti, I recommend you to start maybe from 800 or 900 and just uh, go from there. So if this is stable, you can go 950, 1000, and just check out until you find the most stable uh, memory for you, all right? So I'm using Samsung. For memory clock, I'm gonna add 1450. For power limit, I'm gonna add 70%. So you can test this out. If it's stable, you can try to go to 65 and see if you can keep your hash rate, okay? After that, we can choose fan speed. In my case, I'm gonna choose 80%. You can also click on this one to choose auto fan speed. Let's keep a look at your temperature of your GPU, okay? And you can adjust the fan speed or just use auto, okay? After that, we're just gonna go and click on check mark right here to apply the settings to the miner. Okay, so we'll uh, run the miner for about 13, 14 hours and we're gonna have a look about the results, okay? Okay, so I've been running uh, the miner for 13 hours and 48 minutes and I have been having 46 plus uh, megahertz per second real stable, all right? And we have uh, 291 accepted shares and zero rejected. We have the power consumption at uh, 138, the temperature 57 Celsius, we have the fan speed at 80% and we have an uh, efficiency of 336. You can try to lower the power consumption if you like and see if you can keep the stable uh, 46 uh, plus megahertz per second in hash rate. Okay everyone, so comment below your own results, how much uh, megahertz you're having and what type of memory type you have, okay? And also if you'd like to join our Discord server and if you have some problem with your miner and things like that, you can go to the link in the description, join our Discord server, we are all about mining and you can go to this one, overclocking LHR card and go to the type you have. So in my case is 3060 Ti and here you can get help with different problems or just talk about your results. You're most welcome to join. you find the link in the description. Okay everyone, so this is uh, my results for the new NB Miner uh, version 39.6. I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and bye.